This is the story of my little red dot. Or rather, this is the story of me. I lived in a sheltered lagoon where time and space stand still. I loved spending my days playing with my friends amongst the lush mangrove and clear waters. But I could never fit in with them. You see, I have a pair of bulging round eyes and this silly red patch on my body. Why couldn't I just look like everyone else? One day, I woke up and found my little red patch gone. But wait, now I just look like everyone else. <laughs> I'm finally normal! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I swam as quickly as I could to the four learned cops. I've lost my little red patch. I'm not me anymore. The four learned cops replied. Little red dot, the time has arrived when you must go in search of you. A search? Like a discovery? <laughs> like an adventure? Yes, a journey into you. And that, my friends, was how my adventure began. I had never ventured beyond the lagoon, so everything in the ocean was new to me. There was just so much. For the first time, I realized that the world was huge and there was this thing called seasons, where the whole world changes. Wow. There was spring, with its shy, pretty flowers, which turned into summer, gloriously full and mighty. All around me, the sun shone bright and the ocean burst with life. In time, I experienced fall. <laughs> it beckoned just as the first autumn leaves started to drift into the now cool waters. I noticed, for the first time, the calmness of the water and I watched as the geese above made their flight south to escape the cold. Mother Nature is amazing! How do the geese know where to go? As soon as the geese departed, the nights grew long and the air turned cold. Winter had come. I felt my first snowflake. Let's see. I guess this is what the cold feels like. In the glow of the fast-setting sun, I breathed deeply. What am I supposed to be looking for? How do I find me? Then all of a sudden, a large dark shadow loomed over me. It was the Grand Wise Turtle. My little red dot. There are many lessons to be found under the sea. There is a reason why we call them a school of fish. Observe and reflect. Sometimes life presents itself as a labyrinth with endless cycles. Other times it is a dizzying maze challenging you to make the right decisions. Just when it seems overwhelming, calm the mind, be still, and you will see the beauty of truth. The next morning, I awoke to find myself in a magnificent bed of sea ferns. To my own surprise, I did not feel lost as I thought I would. Instead, I swam calmly forward with only my fins, tail and breath for company. <laughs> this is so much fun! <laughs> I giggled as I wriggled my little body through the greens. All of a sudden, I looked up and saw that I had found my way out wow. and was right at the gates of the school of fish. So the Grand Wise Turtle was not a dream. I squealed excitedly. Then the 18 koi fishes made themselves known to me, one by one, and all with a message to impart. As you gain awareness of your thoughts, words and actions, you can attain clarity and peace of mind to share love, caring and compassion with all you encounter. Optimism can help spark creativity even on a dreary day and obstacles will present themselves as opportunities to make you reach for self-mastery. As you keep learning and journeying, my little red dot, you may face challenges, but you must remain resilient and vigilant. Don't give up when the going gets tough. Even baby steps forward are more than enough. Forgive and forget what your adversaries do. 
but embrace and respect your loved ones and all their hopes for you. Recognize that in time, most dilemmas can be resolved with a change in perspective. Meanwhile, self-practice can lead you to the fulfillment of your authentic being, which will help you attain a triumphant success as you journey through this sea of life. But in spite of your victories, always be humble, my little red dot. Take care to maintain harmony with all mankind. Be mindful, dedicate and devote your energies for the greater good. And finally, may you possess the hope and courage needed to propel you higher, further and maybe, just maybe, to take that great leap of faith somewhere over the rainbow. And then, my little red dot, your journey begins again.